In 2008, Bethesda released their first Fallout game, Fallout 3. And seven years later, Bethesda released their next Fallout game, Fallout 4. But what exactly changed between these two mainline Fallout games in those seven years? So in this video, guys, we're going to be doing a direct comparison of Fallout 3 versus Fallout 4. Finally doing a comparison of one of the older Fallout games versus one of the newer Fallout games. It is a nine-year-old game, but guys, welcome to the video, and I hope you guys enjoy this video as much as I've enjoyed making it for you guys. And if you do find yourself liking the video, be sure to drop a like on it because it helps the little video reach new fans. And as I always say, that's always a great thing. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to Live from My Basement, where I make new videos like the one you're watching right now every single week. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future content. But guys, let's dive into the video. Beginning with the setting, in Fallout 3 you play in the Capital Wasteland, which is set in and around the bombed out ruins of Washington, D.C. While Fallout 4 is set in the Commonwealth in the ruins of what used to be Boston. Moving on to some of the changes that were seen with the weapons between these two games, as you can see here in Fallout 3, we have the 10mm pistol, as it appears in that game, and though this pistol does appear in Fallout 4, it's been completely redesigned in Fallout 4, and it's these kinds of cosmetic changes to the weapons that make the games feel different from one another. But one of the biggest changes when it comes to weapons is actually how the games handle aiming your weapon. In Fallout 3, as you can see, whenever you aim your weapon, the camera zooms in alongside the weapon to give you a bit more accuracy. Whereas in Fallout 4, you can actually aim down the sights as you could in Fallout New Vegas. And speaking of weapons, one detail that just seems to be more and more forgotten in newer games is like this in Fallout 3, whenever your character unequips his weapon, he puts it onto his back and you can actually see the weapon on your character. Whereas in Fallout 4, your equipped weapon just vanishes from your hands whenever you unequip it, which obviously isn't very immersive, but honestly is kind of a shame because the weapons look so cool in the game and it would be great to see them on your character. But while we're on the topic of weapons in combat, in Fallout 3 you can equip melee weapons and use them in combat, but you can't use a firearm as a melee weapon. While in Fallout 4 you can still use melee weapons, but you can also melee with your firearm. Not to mention there's unique melee finishing animations. Another interesting weapon difference is that in Fallout 3, grenades are actually primary weapons and have to be equipped alone, but can also be used in vats. Whereas in Fallout 4, you cannot use grenades and vats, which is kind of a shame, but you can throw a grenade even when you have a gun equipped. Moving on to some super cool clothing differences. As you can see as I walk through Megaton, my character's clothes are pretty static, but only really move when my character model moves. Whereas in Fallout 4, you can actually see that my character's movements are directly interacting with my character's clothes. And these clothing physics actually go a long way in making you feel like your character actually exists in the world. And when it comes to clothing, one of the biggest differences between Fallout 3 and New Vegas versus Fallout 4 when it comes to power armor is that in Fallout 3 and New Vegas, it does kind of look and feel like clothing. Whereas in Fallout 4, power armor actually feels like power armor and isn't something you carry with the rest of your clothes, but it's something you have to actually climb inside of. Not to mention you can customize them and add jetpacks, which is super sweet. Another interesting difference is that in Fallout 3, whenever you want to run somewhere, your movement speed is only determined by the weight of what you're wearing. Oh. Whereas in Fallout 4, if things are getting a little too hairy and it's time to dip, they added the ability for you to sprint, which is a pretty nice addition. Moving on to how NPC conversations work, in Fallout 3 the camera will crash zoom in onto the NPC and you will begin your conversation. This camera move will remain static and freeze the world around you while you select your dialogue options. Whereas in Fallout 4 conversations do not freeze the world around you and actually have cross coverage depending on which character is speaking. Not to mention unlike Fallout 3, your character in Fallout 4 is voiced. Another interesting difference is that of the weather. In Fallout 3, the weather is pretty static and it's pretty doom and gloom and it looks very apocalyptic, as it should. While Fallout 4 has dynamic weather which has everything from sunny blue skies to awful radiation storms. Moving on now to the water physics between the two games, and I gotta say, Fallout 3, even though it came out in 2008, is pretty impressive and holds its own against Fallout 4. Its ripple effects look arguably just as good as what we see in Fallout 4, and I also gotta mention that whenever you shoot the water in Fallout 3, it has a great ripple effect and a good splash effect, but I think it might actually look a little bit better than what we see in Fallout 4. Something about the splash effect in Fallout 4 just looks a little too cartoony, whereas Fallout 3 has looked a bit more realistic to me. 
And when it comes to settlements, of course Fallout 3 has great towns like Megaton, and Fallout 4 has Diamond City, but one thing I can spend so much time in Fallout 4 doing is creating my own settlements with its building mechanics. This new feature is where I swear I've spent at least 50% of my playtime in Fallout 4, and I love it. Another interesting difference is actually how the two games handle waiting. In Fallout 3, you can wait anywhere and change the time of day to whatever time you want it to be. Whereas in Fallout 4, the only way to wait is if you find a place to sit down in a chair or to sleep, which is pretty annoying because if you want to wait out, say, an annoying storm, first you have to spend a good deal of time running around looking for a place to sleep, unless you just happen to already be at home. Which leads me to my final comparison, and honestly, I just wanted to see some cars explode. In Fallout 3, the atomic cars explosion look fantastic with their awesome mushroom cloud, but I gotta say, Fallout 4's looks a bit better with its, at the time, next-gen graphics, but in the end, they're just awesome, and I wanted to include them in the video, so here you go. Well guys, you made it to the end. This has been my direct comparison of Fallout 3 versus Fallout 4. Fallout 3 in particular, I have a lot of nostalgia for that game because it was my first Fallout game. It was my introduction into this franchise, so I have a lot of nostalgia every time I go and explore the Capital Wasteland. Whereas Fallout 4, I, I really enjoy this game as well, but not so much for like the questing and exploration as much as I just, I could spend hundreds of hours building with this game's building mechanics. I swear, when I say I've spent at least 50% of my time in Fallout for building up my settlements I'm, I'm not kidding at all I love that game for that reason and I and I love Fallout 3 for a completely different reason but I mean at the end of the day I do really enjoy both of these games and as I usually say when it comes to these direct comparison videos I'm not trying to say at all that one of these games is bad or that the other one is way better than the other not trying to say that at all I personally enjoy both of these games and I hope you guys do as well but guys that's all I have for this video if you ended up liking the video be sure to drop a like on it because it helps a little video reach new fans and that's always a great thing and I would greatly appreciate it. but as I said guys that's all I have for this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one see ya